Hello visitors to this YouTube channel. This is yet another clock video. This one is a bit more common uh, for most people in their collections because as you can see it's what's known, for those who don't know what the official names are for this, this is what I call a hat clock. Um, it's got two official names really, it's either known as a timbre clock or it's known in more local circles as a Napoleon's hat or simply in my case just a hat clock. As you can see by its shape it's very flat at the edges and it curves up round and in to get that shape. This is a Westminster strike, Westminster chime, three train movement. Movement is foreign, we don't know where it's from. I would say Germany. <clears throat> Most clock movements were made in Germany that weren't made in the British market um, for clocks such as Waterbury and others. Jungens, Hack, uh, Winterholder and Hofmeyer, all of them are all made in Germany. Um, Keeninger, Keenzel, Gustav Becker. And I'm going to let you hear the 10 o'clock strike on this thing. I think it's, yeah. Isn't that absolutely amazing? Isn't that just absolutely beautiful? We'll take it round to the quarter past. Now, as you can tell, that is one heck of a clock. So without further ado, let's start the pendulum and let it run. I've already wound this. And there it goes. It's got like the rope work across the front edge. Really typical of this kind of clock with the curvy, slopey sides going over the top down the other side to the same finish tapering off at the floor yes I've got it on the floor again it's got your standard numerals as you can see some clocks have like your Romans but this is a standard Arabic numerals I think is what they call these one two three etc as we know them with the actual figures rather than as you can see there look the 11 and the 12 It's a metal front and a beautiful example it is. So let's now go and turn this around so we can show you the back of this. You can see the profile of the side there and it's very unhappy with me because I flipped it around. I am being very careful with it. Right. Open the back, just a simple twist lock, and there's your movement. Your rods are positioned underneath, as you can see. This movement does seem to have a very weak tick, but I do believe it works properly. I'm going to actuate these rods. The hammers are at this end. We're going to let it strike the hour. We're going to take it round and let you see all of it again without me speaking this time. I'm going to start with the full hour.
Now for those who aren't familiar with clocks, you may have heard or you may hear several noises dur during the chime of this clock. The first one is this. Hear that? That is what's known as the clock going into warn. And when a clock does this, it's preparing to strike. I'm losing my screen for some reason. Let's get this camera focused so I can focus back in on the rods again. There we are. Sorry about that. But yes, if a clock does that little noise, it's going to warn. That puts all the hooks and levers in place ready for the strike mechanism. Now, during the hour strike, you'll hear a bump. I'll just do this first. That's the half past. There's the one. Now I'm going to point out the noise. I'm going to let it do the 11 o'clock strike. We've had the one. Now you'll hear as it's dinging, actually it's a 12 o'clock strike, as it's chiming, you'll hear it go dunk. There. That clank as it was chiming there is the rack dropping into position ready to execute this part of the chime cycle. All clocks do it, the further up the chime it is, in fact the further the time is towards 12 the louder that clank is going to be. If I got this to 1 o'clock it would barely make a noise. But because we're taking this to 12 o'clock for this demonstration, the, the rack falls to its furthest point. Now this is a typical German movement, I've no idea who made it, it's probably Hauler or some other make, Jauch, Jotch, whatever, however you pronounce it. Some people probably pronounce that Jauch, but I'm not sure how you actually pronounce it. I pronounce it Jorch because, but it could be Jauch because it's German. It's a beautiful runner. That really is a spectacular clock. That is one of my other favourites. I've got quite a few favourites. It's hard to put a dead favourite on them. But the next one we're going to show you is another one that is definitely very German. And at the moment stands with a bit of history behind it. Well, this next review will take a bit longer because that next clock actually does have some history to it. So I'm very proud of the fact that I've got one with some history and I can share that with you. Um, so there you go, that'll be the next review. As I say, rate, comment and subscribe if you want to know any more about these. I don't always check my comments because I find it hard to navigate the site, but I will try to comment on things as best I can, when I can. I've got a pretty busy lifestyle. I only do these in my spare time. I'm going out in the next few minutes, so I figured I'd do this before I went. There it be. Enjoy. And thanks for tuning in and listening and watching this video.